I'd like to ask you something. I spoke about my, uh, my fabulous educational qualifications. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and today you can laugh about it. I was not good at maths. I still don't know my room number. You ask, I don't, I don't remember numbers. Somebody so have, to, have to keep asking, what's my room number for the internet connection? Uh, 805, no, that's not my room number. Hello, don't take it down. Uh, 805, I'll put in 508. I'm so dyslexic with numbers. It's, it's called dyscalculia. Anyway, so now that we've spoken about my fabulous uh, educational qualifications, I don't know if you know this, my friends, but Swamiji here, I think you mentioned it at the start, we were paying attention. Uh, IIM Delhi and IIT Kolkata. Am I right? The other I, way around. Yeah. See, I'm dyslexic. I told you, you all didn't listen. I do everything ulta. Right hand, left hand, see? <laughs> but with those qualifications, you had what could potentially be a very successful career in the corporate world or whatever world you chose. And I believe you worked with the Tatas for a while. That's right. So there has to have been an epiphany, a moment, or was it brewing inside of you, that you kicked it all up and you just let it go. And I'm saying this in the nicest way possible. <laughs> you let it all go for another form of happiness, which I don't know you had found then. You surely have found it now, Swamiji. But I don't know if you had found it then or you, were you sure you were going to be happier like that for a young 23-year-old lad to make such a momentous decision. What was that that got you into that space? The decisions we make are the nodal points in our life. I made a decision because of which I am what I am today. You made decisions in your life because of where you have reached where you are today. Our student friends are going to make decisions and which will influence where they will find themselves after 15 years. That's why these decisions are so important, the choices that we make. Your question is, why did I make this particular choice? Yes, Swamiji. The choices will depend on the values that we install within ourselves. Our intellect accords different values to different things. How much value do you accord to your health? How much do you accord to your family, to your professional success, to your inner growth? That is how you divide your time between these. So it is very important that we install in ourselves solid good values. And how do you tweak the value system you have within yourself? And in that the answer will also come. Values depend on the beliefs that we hold. If somebody's belief is that money is the basis of happiness, the value for money in that person's system will be very high. So these beliefs are just happening to us all the time. You associate with five drunkards and you receive the belief that the bottle is the way to happiness. I was blessed that I received this divine knowledge when I was doing MBA. I was questing for it and I came to this source of wonderful knowledge that convinced me that the most important thing for happiness is your own inner self. In other words, I accorded the highest priority to my inner yearning. To the extent that I felt that this is the most important thing for success in life. And that belief created the value that this is, I value the maximum and I made a decision. So when I was working in the Tatas after my MBA, uh, by then I was already on the spiritual side. So I said, now which job should I take which will be least intrusive when the IT industry just. had just started. Yes. So there was a company called Tata Burroughs, right. 1984. So I said, okay, this seems good enough. But when they started teaching me the operating system of the Burroughs mainframe computer, 
I said, my God, is this what my life is about? I am sure I've got some higher purpose than this. And what if I've given my best energy, what is going to come out of it? I'm going to increase the profits of the shareholders of the Tatas. I would rather utilize my energy in a way that aligns with my value system. And that is why I decided that for my own quest for the absolute truth and to help others, my spiritual teacher said, look, there is no shortage of engineers and MBAs in this <laughs> world. But there is need of people who understand divine wisdom and who can educate others upon it. So for my own quest and to have the opportunity to serve others, that is why I made this choice.